my name's Amy and the voice from over there is Peter. Uh, welcome back to all of our subscribers. Thank you very much for joining us again and to anyone new please bear with us until the end of the video and hopefully we you will want to subscribe and join us and stay and stuff. We do unboxings and Funko Bops and collectibles and just Geeky madness, generally stuff. Mail calls, blind boxes. blind boxes. Yeah, we, you know, trying our hand at all kinds of stuff, really. But but generally, having, having fun. fun. <laughs> so that's if you want to stick around and watch us have fun and just generally be nerdy and geeky and yay, isn't the world great? Then welcome to our little bubble of happiness. Um, now this is a black box, which is exciting. Um. We recently joined Loot Crate because Loot Crate were doing a Back to the Future box and we are big Back to the Future fans and they gave us the option of having a Loot Crate welcome box which is what this is. It was £20 and we have no idea what's inside. It could just be a bunch of random Loot Crate stuff and that's what we're going to find out. So here we are. Breaking the seal. Oh, the well, seal's I've already are... broken the seal. Oh, you because are... I didn't know what it was because oh. it was a completely unmarked box. <gasps> so you know what's in it. I've had a peek in to <gasps> find out what the box was, but I don't know. Any I have more no than idea. One item. I have no idea what's in here, and that's what's important because I'm the one being on camera and being who ah who surprised. There was one item that let me know that it was a loot crate. Oh, okay. Box. So we have something that feels like a t-shirt, which is exciting because I've had recent t-shirt letdowns. Um, That's the item ooh. that let me know that this was a loot crate box. Ooh, there's you a. You may want to do that box first. Which one? The little one. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What's this? It is. Oh. It... <laughs> It can only be upwards from here. <laughs> it's a Jaws drain stopper. Oh my god! A Jaws drain stopper. I I have to open this. We've seen this on Shell Warlocks videos. Hey, have we? Yeah. Have we? That's where we first saw it. Oh, I I I have to see it. I have to see this for myself. I have to see what it looks like. A Jaws drain stopper. I mean. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. Anyway, yes, so I'm guessing that you just kind of plonk that down on top of the drain and the suction stops the water from going away and you have an awesome little shark buddy to you know okay <laughs> yes so that's a thing that you can have <laughs> I'm trying to think of words things to say about a jaws drain stopper not much to say really <laughs> so there you go a jaws drain stopper for those of you who are really die-hard Jaws fans. Like fiddly 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 dee. Ooh, I have I have feeling a pin. Feels like a pin, is it a pin? Yeah. It's a pin. And it is ooh. Oh cool. Cool, 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 cool. This one's staying. I like this one. Did you see what it was? No. Look, 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 look. Cool. It is. It is from Ghostbusters. It's one of the uh, gatekeepers, either the gatekeeper or the keymaster, one of the two, but it's a very, very cool pin. I like that. That's cool. That stays. <laughs> okay, uh, let's have a fumble around. I can feel something soft. We have a t-shirt. Oh, I do like it. I do like it. Is it, is it my size? No, it's not my size. Oh, I'm heartbroken. Oh, no. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's a small. Oh, no. Daniel will love Daniel it. Daniel will love this. 
Daniel will absolutely love this. So this this is one for my son. That's um, Winter Soldier building a Captain America snowman. I would have loved to wear this. Oh, no, further t-shirt disappointment. Darn it. I didn't get the Oceanside t-shirt because it wasn't my thing. And now I'm not getting the Captain America and Winter Soldier t-shirt either. I'm starting to feel like t-shirts are against me. Okay, what have we got here? This is a... Okay, uh, I'm guessing this is a car sticker, a Jim Henson car sticker. My other ride is a Leviathan. Farscape. Yeah, from Farscape. So yes, that's one for uh, the car, I reckon. Yeah. Geeky car stickers, we like those. Geeky, geek, what they call them, bumper stickers. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, it's squishy. It's a squishy. It's a squishy, squishy thing. Here we go. What in the actual... It's a Hearthstone! Oh! Those of you who play World of Warcraft, of course you know what a Hearthstone is. Here we go. It is a squishy Hearthstone. Use your Hearthstone to return from wherever you are to the place where you have found your Hearthstone. That's cool. I mean, it's just a, it's just a, you know, stress squidgy thing that makes a strangely pleasant squeaky noise when you fiddle with it. But it's a Hearthstone. It's an official Hearthstone. It is a Heroes of Warcraft item for ages four plus, and it's a get. It's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a geeky thing for someone who plays Warcraft. I think that's a nice little thing. So yeah, there we go. So we've had some, we've had some nice things so far. I mean, you know, still very dubious on the uh, drain on the stopper. drain stopper. But hey, okay. So this, there's loads of little bits and pieces in here. Oh, got another, got another. Oh, okay, yeah, another another loot pins pin here. We have a teenage mutant. What? Uh, oh, they call them teenage mutant ninja turtles. Why did they drop the hero? Never got that. But here we have a a pin of the, the slime, the ooze, uh, all over. I think it's Leonardo because this one has a little blue bandana over his eyes. So Leonardo. Uh, the beginning of the origin story, I'm guessing. Very cool. Very, very cool pin. Probably won't keep that one, if I'm honest. But it's a very cool pin. And they're nice quality as well. You know, all the lines very well defined. And the artwork is really awesome. So, yeah, very cool. Uh, here we have a... Okay. This is this is what looks like an iron-on patch. Um, and it looks like a very, very ticked-off owl. Other than that, I really haven't got any clue what what geekdom this belongs to. Any ideas? None whatsoever. I mean, it does look like a really ticked yeah. off owl, doesn't it? I have no idea. Anybody know? Anybody know, you know, what geekdom this belongs to? Please, you know, let me know. I am interested. I would like to know. Okay. Post it in the comments. Post it in the comments. We love your comments. Okay, this is a flat thing. This is a... This is a... I think these are cards. Prints, cards, little cards. Okay, so here we have Spidey. Um, I'm going to open everything because that's the kind of mood I'm in and I'm just going to open everything and have a jolly good look at it all. So we have... Hey, these are cool. So we've got a set of four prints here. We've got Spidey. That's a nice, cool, that's a cool print. I like that one. We have the Green Goblin looking very demonic, liking the artwork. Uh, we have Venom here, which is really nice. And we have Carnage. That is, is that, that, that is yeah, car that's, that's Carnage. So we've got Carnage there as well. Awesome. Um, these are, these are really nice. Um, I know somebody who might like those in his bedroom. Mm -hmm. So... Another one for the Daniel, I think. 
Find a suitable frame for them. Let's find a suitable frame. I hate these packets because they stick to everything, but they are really, really good at protecting stuff. Right, okay, so wibbly wobbly wibbly wobbly. What else do we have in here? Uh, okay, what's this? Oh, stickers! Magnets! Cute but deadly magnets. Okay, um, these are Blizzard. Are these supposed to be Warcraft? I think they're supposed to be either Dungeons and Dragons or Warcraft or both. I don't know. These are magnets, fridge magnets, magnets to stick to metal things. You know, if you have metal drawers or whatever in your bedroom, uh, yeah, or in your office, because not all geeks are children. Um, and yes, cute but deadly. Pretty sure that that one is a Skyrim dragon, but I'm not sure. Well, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not sure. In that case, I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah, they're, they're all right. They're all right. You know, not artwork's not really my thing. Not not loving the artwork, but yeah, they 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 they're pretty cool. Okay, the box that keeps on going. It just keeps on going. Right, this feels like it might be a comic. Oh, hello. So this is a special Loot Crate edition of the 13th Doctor. Doctor Who. We love Doctor Who. Big fans of Doctor Who. We actually, controversially, really like the 13th Doctor. Uh, some, of the, some of the episodes did feel a little contrived and a bit preachy, but on the whole, really liked her. So controversial. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. there's your wel welcome crate letter thingy and I think I'm down to the last thing in the box so here it comes I hopefully save the best till last I don't know but it's a big box so ta-da and yes 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 oh wow this is fantastic so this is Frodo Baggins from the Weta Mini Epics, uh, Weta Workshops Mini Epics series. I don't have this one, but I do collect the, uh, the, the Mini Epics. I have Gimli and Boromir. They're over there. Where, no, oh, no, those aren't the Mini Epics. Aren't they? Those are... They are? No, oh yes, they are. There we go. See, Gimli and... Uh, and a bunch of the others. I've got Gandalf as well and Galadriel and I'm talking behind cameras so you can't probably even hear what I'm saying but I've got Galadriel, I've got Gandalf, I've got Legolas and now I have Frodo with Sting which is awesome so he will be staying with us. Uh, Peter, no I'm gonna do it myself actually and now oops um, the sights on my phone. Oh dear Oh, well, I had to, I had to unstick it. Well, anyway. Humpty hum, rumpty pumpty pumpty pum. Let's have a look at the box coming apart. Box, box coming apart. apart. Box has not just opened, but fully apart. There we go. There we go. Frodo of the Baggins of the Shire is now part of my mini ethics collection. Worth 20 quid for that box? I'd say so, because the mini epics themselves are, well, they're not, they're not cheap. I've been checking on eBay. Mm-hmm. Um, some items are not really selling on eBay, some yep. of them are. Okay, um, so, give, so give me an idea. So, starting with the Jaws Drain Stopper. The Jaws Drain Stopper. The gift that keeps on giving. Has been selling on eBay for around seven or eight pounds. You're kidding me. <laughs> okay. <sighs> no accounting for taste. The, no accounting for taste. The Terror Dog Pin Badge from uh, Ghostbusters. Yes, the Terror Dog Pin Badge, which is awesome. Has been selling for around two pounds. Two pounds, is that all? Yeah. That's, well, I'm keeping it anyway, so. And at two pounds, it's, is it really worth selling? Is it really worth selling or is it worth just keeping or putting in a geek 
giveaway box, something like that? I don't know. You let me know. I mean, if we were to do a box, a geeky box for a giveaway, would you, is that something you'd be interested in? Anyway, I've got to wrap it up, but... Got, go through the values. Oh, go for the... The t-shirt. Right, t-shirts. About a tenner. About a tenner. The Farscape sticker. Farscape sticker. About a pound. About a pound. The Hearthstone. About a pound. About a pound. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles badge. About a fiver. About a fiver. The patch. I have no idea what it is, so I can't give it a value. Okay. The Spider-Man print, about four pounds. Four pounds, a pound print. The magnets, about two pounds. Two pounds. The comic book, about four pounds. Uh-huh. And Frodo, around 15 pounds. About 15 pounds. So, did we get our value? We most certainly did. Is it worth getting a loot crate in welcome box? I would say so. If they're offered. If they're offered. We got 50 pounds worth of stuff for 20 pounds. Yeah. Absolutely. Why wouldn't you? And very, very chuffed because I got something that I actually really wanted from my collection. So it's a win-win for, for me. Um, if you've enjoyed this unboxing, please don't forget to give us a like, comment, tell us what you thought. We'd love to know. Um, have you subscribed to Loot, Loot Crate? Tell us your experiences. We, we really do want to know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and give us a, 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 a notification bell thingy. And like. And like. And like and subscribe, notification bell thingy, join the group, 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 group. join the group, group. Okay. Just anyway, come and join the madness. I've been Amy, he's been Peter, and we've been Willy Phone Pops. Bye for now.